guys, Mr. Octagon here from Octagon Game, and now we're back with our NFL predictions. We are now in week 16, which absolutely blows my mind. And last week we did really good, 12-4, and 4, I believe, 116 points. We predicted very well, but we need two big weeks. Because I'm pretty disappointed with how the season's going. Not for real-life NFL season, well, I guess so, because the Lions are probably going to the playoffs, but my predicting season, I feel like I could have done better. So a good last two weeks would really... Make me happy. I know I've said this 15 times, but I'm going to say it a 16th. And then I'm going to say it a 17th next week for week 17. So what we do is uh, we pick each NFL game, but we go above and beyond that. We give each game sort of like a confidence rating uh, of 1 through 16. So let's say we have the Browns and the Jets. And for whatever reason, I think the Browns are going to win because I'm doing cocaine. And I'm not super confident that the Browns are going to win. I may pick them with a 1. The Browns win, I get 1 point. If the Jets win, I get 0 points. Now let's say we have the Buccaneers and the Chargers. And I'm super confident that the Chargers are going to win. Then I'll pick the Chargers with a higher number, like a 16. If the Chargers win, I get 16 points. If the Bucks win, I get 0 points. So that's pretty much how these picks work. We use every number between 1 and 16. So, first, Falcons and Saints. And I really hope this does not happen... But I am picking the Falcons to win this game with a 1. Now, if the Falcons win, the Lions' playoff chances are as good as gone. I think we'd officially be eliminated unless the Seahawks won out and the Rams lost out. And there was some weird tiebreaker of a wild card because we do not have a tiebreaker over the Saints. We do not have a tiebreaker over the Panthers. And we do not have a tiebreaker over the Falcons because we lost all those games. So basically, the refs took us out of a playoff spot with the Golden Tate catch week 3. If you don't know what I'm talking about, exactly what happened to Jesse James last week. Just the only difference was they took 10 seconds off the clock, and the Lions did not have time to run one more play. Falcons won. If the Lions won, they'd be in the exact same position that the Falcons are. The sixth seed, and they'd have the tiebreaker over Atlanta. The Falcons are the sixth seed, and have a tiebreaker over us. Just they have a harder schedule than we do. We have the Bengals and the Packers. And the Packers don't have Aaron Rodgers, because Aaron Rodgers isn't playing the last two games. So hopefully the Saints win. I think the Saints are still my Super Bowl pick. They've been my Super Bowl pick since like week five. But the problem is for them, they don't. They, they've lost some games against good teams. They lost to the Rams. They lost to the Vikings early on in the season. The Rams wasn't that early, but the Vikings was. So they don't. If let's say those teams have the same record, Saints don't have a tiebreaker. So I think the Saints are the best team in the NFC. I think the Saints are the best team in the league, to be honest. But I do think the Falcons are going to win this game. I hope not. Hopefully my gut is wrong. Now we have the Cowboys and Seahawks. This is an extremely important game for playoff implications. These are the two other teams with the Lions that still have a chance of making the playoffs and are just outside. The 8-6 and six Seahawks and the 8-6 and six Cowboys. The Cowboys last week on Sunday Night Football played solid against the Raiders. They got the W. Meanwhile, the Seahawks got absolutely annihilated at home, at home by the Rams. I could barely get that out. My I just parent, my throat does not want to talk right now. But in Dallas, I think this stadium is going to be rocking with fans. With that, I think the Cowboys are going to win. I think the Cowboys are going to keep their playoff hopes alive. I'm more scared of the Seahawks than of the Cowboys. So I kind of hope the Cowboys win. And I'm picking the Cowboys. So go Cowboys, I guess. I'm going to pick them with a two. I don't like the Cowboys one bit, but... For my Lions, I have to root for them. I have no choice. Unlike the first two games, this has zero playoff implications. This just has some draft slot implications. We have the Denver Broncos, who have won two in a row. Then again, it was against the Jets and the Colts. And the Redskins, who have been pretty disappointing. I didn't think they were going to make the playoffs or anything, but I thought they'd be better. Now I'm going to pick for Redskins. I'm only going to pick them with a three. And the reason is, is because there's so many games this week that I just want to pick with, like, 10s, but, like, I can't. Like, normally I'd be picking for Redskins with, like, an 8, but since I feel like there's so many, like, sort of lopsided games this week, that I can't really do that. So I have to pick for Redskins with only a 3. But I, I'm still picking for Redskins, obviously, as you can see. Now we have the Chiefs and the Dolphins. The Chiefs got out of their cold snap, beat the Chargers last week, and now they have the AFC West lead. With the Chargers and Raiders, I don't think they'd have it even if the Raiders won. I think the Raiders are pretty much eliminated. 
Dolphins have been so disappointing this year. Meanwhile, the Dolphins are, I think, 6-8 and eight as well. 6-8 and eight or 7-7. Seven and seven. They might be 7-7. Seven and seven. No, I think they're 6-8. and eight. They, they need to win this game if they want any chance of making the playoffs, and I think they will be eliminated. I think the Chiefs are going to win. I think the Chargers are the best team in the AFC West, but I think the Chiefs are going to win. I think that means they clinch the division, which I think the Chargers are still going to make the playoffs. I don't think the Titans are really that good. I don't really think the Bills are that good either. So I could see like a Chargers-Ravens wild card. I know it's weird that I have the Ravens making the playoffs. But I think the Ravens and Chargers are better than the Titans and Bills. I think the Titans and Bills are the two teams currently slotted for those last two wild card spots. I think the Chargers and the Ravens are both better than those two teams. The Titans have just been horrendous this season, despite their record. The AFC is so much worse than the NFC. If the Lions were in the, N in the AFC, they, it, they make the playoffs. Let's just say that. I have the Minnesota Vikings and the Green Bay Packers. I think this game is at Lambeau Field. Of course, the last time these two teams played, uh, Aaron Rodgers broke his collarbone. He came back from that injury last week. Played decent. He threw three touchdowns, but he also threw, threw three picks. The Packers lost, and the Packers got eliminated from the playoffs. So that meant that they decided to shut down Aaron Rodgers. Do not want him to risk getting re-injured, which is definitely the smart move. And I'm only picking the Vikings with a 5 because, as I said with the Redskins and Broncos, I would normally pick the Vikings with, like, a 10 or 11. But there are so many, like, games I'm picking higher, I have to only pick the Vikings with a 5. I don't want to, but I have to. I think the Vikings are clearly going to win. The Packers have nothing to play for, and the Vikings do since they probably want home field advantage and a bye. I'm only picking them with a 5, so, yeah. I have the Colts and the Ravens, and this is the exact same thing. I'm picking the Ravens, but I'm only picking them with a 6. Normally, I'd pick them with, like, an 11, but I can't. Because there are so many games I'm picking higher. The Colts have nothing to play for, and the Ravens do. I think the Ravens are the 6th best team in the AFC. I think they do deserve to make the playoffs. They absolutely annihilated my Detroit Lions, which makes me sad. So, I think the Ravens are a pretty solid team. I don't think they're going to make it far in the playoffs. I'd be surprised. If they won a game, because I'd assume they'd play the Jaguars in the first round, or the Chiefs, I think they'd probably lose both games, especially the Jaguars, because I think the Jaguars are a really good team. Kevin making the Falcons with a 1, the Cowboys with a 2, the Redskins with a 3, the Chiefs with a 4, the Vikings with a 5, and the Ravens with a 6, and now you have the Jaguars and 49ers. The Jaguars are easily the third best team in the AFC. Blake Bortles has been playing pretty well. Maybe the Jaguars don't need to go out and draft a quarterback. I mean, they really don't have a lot of holes. Maybe they could use an offensive lineman. Maybe a new middle linebacker of Paul Pizlesny getting up there in age. Or is Paul Pizlesny playing outside? I'm not sure. Maybe they need a safety because Barry Church is getting up there. Calais Campbell's getting up there. But Calais Campbell has been so dominant. He definitely is going to be top, probably top two in defensive player of the year voting. Him and Aaron Donald, I think, are probably the Two really only people who could probably win Defensive Player of the Year. Sorry, Darius Slay. I'm a Lions fan. I love Darius Slay. You don't really see cornerbacks winning DPOY. Anyway, on the other side, we have the 49ers. The Niners, uh, but when they got Jimmy Garoppolo, they Jimmy Garoppolo, they, they sucked. Ever since their bye week, Jimmy Garoppolo has been 3-0 and in starts. The Niners have won three in a row. They barely beat the Titans last week, but... Still, it, that's a good win. They've won three in a row, and I think they will lose simply because the Jaguars are really good. I'm only picking the Jaguars with a seven since Jimmy G is hot. Uh, if Jimmy, if C.J. Beathard was starting, I'd probably pick the Jaguars with a 16. But since the Niners have been playing really well lately, I'm picking the Jaguars with a seven. The Niners need to lose, though, so they can get, like, Saquon Barkley. First of two Christmas Day games, we have the Philadelphia Eagles and Oakland Raiders. The Raiders... I don't think they're eliminated, but come on. Are the Raiders making the playoffs? Meanwhile, the Eagles, they barely beat the Giants, but I think the Eagles should win this game. I think this will be their last win of the season. I think next week they're not going to try against Dallas. Dallas is going to win, but I still don't think Dallas is going to make the playoffs despite a 10-6 and record. And I really don't think the Eagles are going to make it out of the divisional round with Nick Foles at quarterback. But Nick Foles did play really well last week, but regardless, that was against the Giants. I may be picking the Rams a little too high, but hear me out. 
But Rams are a really good team. What if they ten and four? They've beaten some quality teams. They beat the Saints. They beat the Seahawks. They crushed the Seahawks last week. They did lose to the Eagles and Vikings, but they played pretty well against the Eagles. Don't think they played great against the Vikings. Meanwhile, the Titans. The Titans are just not a good team. If they were in the NFC, they'd have at most six wins. And I think the Rams are going to crush them again. I think the Rams are a legit threat to make the Super Bowl. I think the NFC is much more competitive than the AFC. The AFC has two, maybe three teams. Of course, the Steelers and Patriots. Maybe the Jaguars. If the Jaguars can stay hot. Because the teams who do good in the playoffs are the teams who are red hot at the end of the season. The Rams are... What have they won? One in a row? Can't really call them hot, but I think they're going to win two in a row winning this game. Any recap, I'm picking the Jaguars with a 7, the Eagles with an 8, Rams with a 9, and now we have the Chargers and Jets. The Jets have pretty much lost it. The Jets lost it. They were doing decent. I think they were, what, 6 and 7 at one point? Maybe 5 and 7, though, because they they're, they can't be 6 and 9 now because they've only played 14 games. So I believe they're 5 and 9. They're eliminated. They're, I think they're going back to being the Jets from last year, which is what their roster suggests they should be. Meanwhile, the Chargers fighting for a playoff spot. I like their chances to make the playoffs because I think they're the best of the four wildcard teams. I think they're the fourth best team in the AFC after the Jaguars. I don't think they can make a Super Bowl run, but I think they can win this game against the Jets pretty handily, so I'm going to pick them up a 10. Hear me out. The Browns need to win this game. They're pretty much guaranteed the number one pick anyway because they are playing the Steelers next week. Let's be real. I think we all know what my 16 game is going to be next week. Steelers are over for Browns with a 16. But the Browns need to win this game. They can't go 0-16. As a Lions fan, I want them to go 0-16 so I don't feel as bad about my team from 2008. And I think the Bears are going to win this game. Come on. Come on. The Bears are horrendous. The Bears suck. But the Browns suck even more, so I'm picking the Bears with an 11. Now we have the Bengals and Lions. The Bengals have pretty much lost it as well. They got annihilated by the Bears week 14. The Vikings played very well against them last week, which clinched the division for them, unfortunately. And meanwhile, the Lions, they need to win this game. They're playing an easy opponent, so they should win. And not only that, but they will win. The Lion will beat the Tiger, because the Detroit Tigers suck, and so do the Cincinnati Bengals. And the Chargers with an 11, nope, Chargers with a 10, Bears with an 11, never thought I'd say that, and the Lions with a 12, now we have the Panthers and Bucks, and I think the Panthers are going to win this game, picking them with a 13, now, since I have the Saints losing, this will put the Panthers in first place in the division, I still think the Saints are going to win the division, so the Panthers will have the lead in the division, but if the Panthers lose and Saints win, they'll both be 11-5, the Saints beat them twice head-to-head, -head, so the Saints would win the tiebreaker, I think the Saints are still going to win the division, I think the Panthers are playing the Falcons Week 17. That's not going to be an easy game. That'll mean the Falcons would finish out 11 and 5 as well. I I don't know. I don't know. This is all confusing. Uh, the Saints, Falcons, and Panthers are all fighting for that NFC South spot. It looks like all three of them are make going to make the playoffs. Unfortunately, but the Panthers. I don't think the Lions can be better than the Panthers. So for the Lions' sake, it really does not matter how the Panthers do because. The best the Lions can be is 10 and 6. The worst the Panthers can be is 10 and 6. The Panthers beat the Lions this year, so the Panthers have the head to head advantage. So even if the Lions win out and the Panthers lose out, the Panthers would still own the tiebreaker. So for the Lions, it really does not matter how Carolina plays. It does matter how Carolina plays for us because they do need to win week 17. Anyway, Cardinals and Giants, I may be picking the Cardinals a little too high, but the Giants are horrendous. So I'm picking the Cardinals with a 14. I might regret this. Hopefully I don't. Do I even have to explain this game? I don't really think I need to explain it. I think we all know who I think is going to win. Recap, I'm picking the Panthers with a 13, the Cardinals with a 14, and the Patriots with a 15. Now we've the other Christmas game, the Steelers and Texans. This would have been exciting if Watson was still playing, but he's not. Pick of the Steelers with a 16 because they kind of need to win this game even though they've already clinched the game. I'm a Bobby girl in the box.